Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'd like to give you a quick introduction to using GoDaddy Studio on web, which is of course available for free to anyone with the pro version included with any pro mobile subscription. Now the desktop version of GoDaddy Studio is virtually on par with the mobile experience. So if you prefer working at your desk to sync in better with your existing workflow, or if you like the idea of designing on a full screen instead of a mobile device, then this might be the way to go for you. But of course you don't have to choose because a GoDaddy Studio subscription, whether free or pro, gives you access to both platforms and your projects will automatically sync across any device. So you might start a project at your desk in the morning, uh, make some edits on your phone throughout the day and finish it off in bed on your tablet. Any edits you make are automatically saved in real time. Another big advantage with working on web is that it's integrated with your GoDaddy websites and marketing account. So if you've taken advantage of the free website, online shop and professional email that a GoDaddy subscription unlocks, you'll see that Studio is now embedded into your personal dashboard as a content creation tool. So that brings me on to how to get started. And there are a couple of ways. If you've unlocked your websites and marketing account, then you can log in via godaddy.com and you'll see here on your dashboard, you can either tap on create social post, which uh, will funnel you directly into creating a post and then publishing it on either Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Um, another way to access it is through the uh, menu tab at the top here underneath marketing. You will tap on content creator and that will take me through to studio. You could also just uh, type in studio.godaddy.com in your browser. It's ultimately going to take you to the same destination. And at this point, we can now start a project either from a template or perhaps from scratch. So like I said, the functionality is almost identical to the mobile version of the app, but things do look a little bit different. So let's take a look at where everything is in the web version. And we'll start off with our home feed, which includes the option to either start with one of my projects, um, or I could jump into one of the more popular features and start right away with background removal, logo maker, um, graphic library, font library, and then there's the template feed, which you'll recognize from the mobile version, but here it's segmented into specific types of content. So logo, Instagram story, Instagram post, et cetera, et cetera. And then further down, you'll see there's an option to browse all the templates, just like you see in your main feed on mobile. And then right at the bottom, if you'd like to start a project from scratch, you can select a preset size for your canvas. Uh, there are a whole bunch here. And as we'll see later, you can of course customize the size of your canvas too. But for today, I'm going to opt for a, a poster or a flyer design. You can of course see more options by tapping see all there and uh, select something you'd like to work on. So let's try this. I'm just gonna tap it and it'll open up in my editing view. All right, so my project's opened up. And the first thing I'll point out is that uh, your menus are on the left and right hand side of your project, unlike mobile where they tend to be on the top and bottom. And a big distinction is that the menu on the left hand side tends to be where you are going to add or replace content. And the menu on the right hand side is where you will edit various elements in your design. So on the left hand side, you'll see we have image, which of course takes you to the image library. You can either search in Unsplash, you can upload your own image, or if you have uh, existing images saved in your websites and marketing photo library, you can access them through here. If you just tap on my photos, again, you'll see that connection to my websites and marketing dashboard where I can find images that I have saved already. Or as I said, just upload from my desktop or find in Unsplash. And then underneath that, we have the text button, which of course lets you add uh, new text to your design. And then uh, beneath that, the graphics library, again, very similar to the app. You can either just browse through what we have or search for something specific. Um, shapes, of course, quite self-explanatory. You can select one of these to add to your canvas. And if you'd like, you can even uh, at this stage opt for an entirely different template if you so desire by tapping on the template tab. And then as I mentioned on the right hand side, we have more of our editing tools. So for starters, we have the color palette tool. So an easy way to start editing templates is to just select a brand style and just start tapping through these. You'll see it selects complementary colors for your entire design. You could also of course uh, change the background color 
And you can even change your canvas size uh, mid-project, which is something that you aren't able to do on mobile. So that might be useful if you want to start creating different versions of the same design for different uh, platforms or formats. And then of course, the editing menu will be slightly different depending on the element that you're editing. So if I select the photograph here, you'll see I have options for filters, remove background. I can start to make final adjustments, crop, add shadow, and so on. Um, if I'm looking at uh, a graphic here, for example, slightly different, I can, oops, slightly different, I can change the color of that graphic very easily. Um, and if I'm working with text, of course, I have the option of selecting my font. They're all listed here. These are the ones I've saved already, but I can uh, browse more fonts here at the bottom. That's gonna take me to the font library. And it, uh, it's worth repeating that all the font libraries, graphic libraries, image libraries are all identical, whether you're on mobile or web. So regardless of which aspect of your design you're working on, it's the right-hand side panel here where you'll be making all your adjustments. I'm just gonna quickly change this color palette. I'm it's bothering me. I want something a little bit more colorful. That's much better. All right, now let's take a look at replacing different elements in your design. Again, it's pretty simple. You would just tap here. And then once you've done that, contextual menu appears at the top. You have the option to either duplicate that element, uh, replace it. If I tap replace, it'll take me into my image library. Again, if I'm on a graphic, it'll take me to the graphic library and so on. Um, I can also shift these layers up and down or backwards and forwards in my layer stack, which we'll get to in a second. Um, and then you can, of course, lock elements if uh, they're in the perfect position and you don't want to run the risk of slightly misaligning your design. It's a good idea to get in the habit of locking elements in place on your canvas. Now, I mentioned layers a moment ago and layers, of course, are crucial to working in GoDaddy Studio in order to organize elements and arrange a sense of depth in your design. And you'll find the layers icon right here in the top right hand corner, that sandwich icon. And what's really cool in the web version is because you've got so much more screen space, unlike on uh, mobile where your layers view will take up your entire screen. Here, what I like is that you can actually see in real time as I start to move things around in my layer stack. I can see exactly how that's going to uh, turn out in my final design. So much like the mobile version, you simply uh, grab layers to drag them around in your design. And you do have the option if you control click on any of these, you can uh, duplicate, cut, copy, delete, and move them around uh, contextually that way too. All right, now currently I'm working on a single page design. But of course, I have the option of adding more pages to this design. Right at the bottom here, you'll see there's the option to click on New Page. And as I do that, my Pages view appears on the left-hand side. And at this point, I can either duplicate these pages or just create new blank pages. Of course, I can create as many of these as I like. And again, I can shift the order by just dragging them around. And then another small advantage that you have on, on desktop is that uh, you can zoom in or out on your project, something you aren't able to do on mobile at this stage. So right here at the bottom, you'll see my zoom view. I can either go in or out. So it's good to just zoom out to get a sense of what your overall design looks like. But when you want to start working in a little bit more detail on text and things like that, then obviously it really helps to be able to zoom in like that. Right, so I mentioned earlier that projects are always going to be automatically saved across all your devices without you having to worry about doing anything. And if you'd like to see your folders up here at the top left hand corner, you'll see where it says GoDaddy Studio. Click down there and you can access my projects. And here you can see all your projects and this project view will be the exact same view that you see when you go on mobile or tablet. Again, they are synced automatically across all your devices. And again, from that same menu, you will have the option of either starting a brand new project, heading back to your home screen, or going even further back to your GoDaddy dashboard. And then when it's time to export your project, you're happy with it, it's ready to send out into the world, you'll head to the top right-hand corner here where you have your export tab. Again, you can select uh, either all of the pages or just the current page you're working on, give it a name, um, and then you have a couple of settings here. You can either use a JPEG or a PNG, various qualities. And then as soon as you're ready to export, you simply do that. 
and it'll save uh, to your device. Now there are just a few features that haven't made their way to web just yet, but they're certainly in the pipeline. And these include layout collections, video libraries and video templates, and the ability to save your own collected graphic collections. But other than that, things are pretty much on a par. It's a really fantastic, powerful and intuitive design experience. So I definitely recommend you try it out right now. GoDaddy Studio is a free app for iOS, Android and web that you can download right now. All the links you need are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and please remember to subscribe if you want to keep learning about GoDaddy Studio. I'll see you next time.